What is up, Pokemon fans? Professor Prometheus Pine here, and for this episode, as you've probably figured out from, you know, the thumbnail and the title, is going to be about my top 10 favorite types of Pokeballs. Now, every once in a while, especially in between uh, different seasons, uh, videos that I'm running, I do like to run these sort of top 10 so you get to know a little more about me. And, uh, you know, I thought it'd be a good time to give you my top 10 uh, favorite types of Pokeballs. Number 10! Alright guys, so starting out my list at number 10 is going to be the Moon Ball. Now, this is the first Apricorn Ball on this list, and in all honesty, I don't like it because of what it does. I mean, the ability to capture Pokemon that evolved the Moonstone uh, easier than others is not the greatest at all, especially when it was introduced. That's like three Pokemon, and half of them you couldn't even get till later. So, I really just like it because of its design. That sort of midnighty moon essence with like the teal and the black and the moon. Very moony. Um, anyway, <laughs> I. I basically just like it because of its aesthetic, which I can say is quite a few of these uh, balls on this list, and that's fine because that's better than some of them. Some Pokeballs have pretty decent effects, but man, they are ugly. Not on this list. All these, all these balls look okay. Some better than others. Number nine. Hitting number 9 on this list is going to be the god of Pokeballs itself, the Master Ball. Now, obviously, I like the Master Ball for what it does. I love being able to just yeet this thing at a Pokemon, and that Pokemon going in the ball, not having to battle it, not having to worry, saves me, if it's a legendary, saves me a lot of time instead of me just sitting there like Rambo, firing off Pokeballs at this thing, trying to catch it. Now, that's great, but it's... Super ugly. I hate the purple with whatever pink, red is on the Master Ball. It's just not for me. Plus, you know, up until like Gen 5, it was super difficult to get more than one Master Ball. I mean, if it's just you on one game. So, that's kind of why it's as far down on this list as it is. The Master Ball is nice in terms of utility, but in terms of aesthetic, kind of ugly. Number 8! The top rating Apricorn Ball on this list, made by my boy, Kurt, is the Heavy Ball. Now, I don't really use <laughs> the Heavy Ball. Ever. I like how it looks. It does a thing with the little nubs on it that I think the Great Ball tries to tries to reach its level of prestige. But it's just I don't know. It looks cool. It's Pokemon TCG card. It's pretty nice. Overall, the Heavy Ball is just something that is more versatile than a lot of the other Apricorn Balls out there. Catching heavy Pokemon, especially Legendaries, there are so many hefty Legendaries out there that it's just, it combines a pretty cool look with a pretty decent effect. Number 7! Now as I mentioned a little bit later, this this Pokeball has kind of dropped in terms of being higher up on my list over the past few years, and that's, I think, mainly because I don't use it as much as I used to. Number seven on this list is the Quick Ball. Now, I hate the color yellow with a passion. It is easily the worst color on our spectrum. But 
what is nice about the quick ball is that when I was completing my living decks, I could just see a Pokemon, throw the quick ball at it first turn, and honestly, more often than not, it would just go in the quick ball. That would be the end of the battle. And that was great, especially when I had to catch over 800 Pokemon. So, the quick ball is really nice in terms of usability, but it kind of falls with the master ball in that it's just ugly. Really, really ugly. Number six! This next ball on the list is actually another one introduced in Generation 4. The Dusk Ball hits number six on this list. Now, I used to really like uh, everything about the Dusk Ball. The green, the black, the, like, dark energy that's emitted when you send out the Pokemon. I was edgy. Super edgy. And it, it was overall cool. It's, I mean, there's a reason why Marnie uses this ball. It's just, if you're cool, you use a Dusk Ball. But, uh, as you can see, I make Pokemon videos, so obviously I'm the coolest, and I have other Pokeballs that I like. And Dusk Ball, I mean, it's great for those of you who, you know, play Pokemon after work, after school. You're playing it at night, so you get that at a boost. But it's just, I'm a simple guy, and the next four balls on this list are just more simple and better. Number five. Taking number five on this list is going to be the Ultra Ball. Now, the Ultra Ball actually used to rate below the Quick Ball and Dusk Ball. And over the last few years, I think mainly due to the fact that NPCs can be seen with the Ultra Ball, I I've sort of started liking it a little more. It still has like that ugly yellow, but it's mostly black, and it's edgy, but kind of in a bumblebee sort of way. And we're not talking like the cool transforming car bumblebee. <laughs> don't want to, don't want you to think that. You know, the Ultra Ball is that kind of level, but, you know, it's it's a good catch rate, and you know, it's pretty decent looking. That's how it's sort of hit number five on this list. Obviously not as simple as the next four, as I mentioned with the Dusk Ball, because I can do math. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it on that. Number four! Hitting number four on this list is probably one of the lamest type of Pokeballs there is, and that is the Park Ball. Now, I am a sucker for basically having the exact same thing, just <laughs> in a different shade. And while it's not a different shade, it's basically just a Pokeball that someone took a little white stamp of a Pokeball and just hit on the top. And that's fine with me. It's simple. But it's a little different, and it kind of gives you that, oh, you got this from here kind of vibe, because, I mean, you did. Number three! Hitting the bronze medal on this list is going to be the Premier Ball. I don't use Premier Balls often, but my first encounter with it is probably what helped to solidify it on this list. I was playing, gosh, I think it was Ruby, and I was catching Groudon, and, you know, I'm throwing everything at this thing, trying to catch it, you know, Ultra Balls, Pokeball, everything I had, because, you know, why would I have purchased, you know, balls before this? So I'm throwing everything, and it gets to be turn, like, 80. I threw a Timer Ball, you know, that ugly Power Ranger thing going, you know, get the three little turns, shake, shake, and it explodes open. Groudon's like, nah, I'm not going to be in that ugly thing. So finally, I'm like, well, I got this Premier Ball from somewhere. So I threw that, 
went in immediately. And I'm sitting there like, what is this new contraption? Did I just find another Master Ball? So for, you know, the longest time, because I refused to use it ever again, I thought that the Premier Ball had the capture rate of a Master Ball. Obviously, it, it doesn't. I have learned that since then, but it's still, it's a decent look. You get that sort of inverted, inverted Pokeball vibe, and I like white, so Premier Ball is just a good fit overall. Number two! Switching color schemes entirely from the all-white Premier Ball is the second place Pokeball on this list, the Luxury Ball. Now, the Luxury Ball provides two great colors, mixes them together, and creates this awesome ball of black and gold. It's definitely something that I don't buy often. Not, you know, just, like, not even the price. But, I don't know. I'm never pretentious enough to just catch Pokemon and Luxury Balls. But I do appreciate the design. It looks cool. It provides an okay, you know, effect for those people who befriend their Pokemon. Use return instead of frustration. Obviously, those that don't send their Pokemon to jobs. I can't see a job, you know, making a Pokemon love you more. But, hey, I do enjoy the Luxury Ball nonetheless. And it's, honestly, that's why it's so high on this list. Number one. And rounding out the first place position on this list is going to be the OG, the Pokeball. Now, as I've said a couple times so far, I am a man of simple tastes. And the Pokeball is just the perfect blend of simple and refined. Plus, you know, they're cheap. I can sit there and buy a million of them and only spend the cost of like four Ultra Balls. It's it's a good time. Now, my, uh, my love for the Pokeball actually stemmed <laughs> from an outdated mindset. It was... I used to hate using any other type of ball except the Pokeball because you never saw any trainers use, you know, anything other than a Pokeball up until, gosh, I think it was Gen 7. They always just used the Pokeball, and I said, you know, if a Pokeball is good enough for Brock, it's good enough for me. So I caught everything in that legendaries, mythical Pokemon, everything. I had some long matches. I single-handedly kept the Kalos Pokeball Factory uh, running because I spent all of my champion dollars <laughs> on Pokeballs. And as I said, I've, I've shifted a little more away from that now because honestly, it feels like Pokeballs are getting worse. The catch rate, catching a Pokemon like the they have worse catch rates than they used to. But also because, you know, trainers actually have different Pokeballs now. Marnie uses Dust Balls. Uh, Bead, I think, uses Great Balls. And any gym leader and champion uses an Ultra Ball. So, honestly, it was, I even think... There are some trainers that use luxury balls. But No, that's uh that's why Pokeball is top of the list. So uh guys in the comment section give me your you know, let's do top three favorite Pokeballs. I'd love to hear them. I assume most people don't have Pokeball number one, but you know I could be wrong. Um, I probably should have mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is obviously my personal opinion, so if you don't like it, um, I don't care, because I like it. 
So uh, if you liked the video, click that like button. And of course, subscribe to stay up to date on all of my new content. I have a new series where I will be analyzing the strongest teams in each region. So that's going to be a fun little eight video series. So I hope to catch you all there. See you all then. Professor Prometheus Pine, out.